Hello, how to solve for a in this equation 3 to the power of a to the power of 3 divided by 27 to the power of a is equal to 9. Solution. Then from here, we have 3 to the power of a to the power of 3 divided by 27 to the power of a can be written as t to the power of t to the power of a is equal to 9. Take note of this that if you have a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m n. Then this can be written as t to the power of a to the power of t divided by t to the power of t multiplied by a. This is t a is equal to 9. Also, if you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n this can be written as t to the power of a to the power of t minus t a is equal to 9 can be written as t square now they have the same base so we have a to the power of t minus t a is equal to 2 then here we have a to the power of t minus t a minus 2 is equal to 0. now let's transform this t minus t a this minus 3a can be written as minus 4a plus a. We can substitute here. We have a to the power of 3 minus 4a plus a minus 2 is equal to 0. Now here we can factor a out. We have a bracket a square minus 4 plus a minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we have a bracket a square. This minus 4 can be written as minus 2 square plus a minus 2 is equal to 0. If you look at this, this is in the form of perfect square. If you have a square minus y square, this is equal to s plus y bracket x minus y. Then we have a bracket this can be written as a plus 2 bracket a minus 2 plus a minus 2 is equal to 0. From here a minus 2 is common. Let's bring it out. We have a minus 2 bracket if you divide this by this we have a bracket a plus 2 plus if you divide this by this we have 1 is equal to 0 then this is a minus 2 bracket a times a a square plus a multiplied by 2 we have 2 a plus 1 is equal to 0 
there are two cases here the first case is a minus 2 equal to 0 and the second case is a square plus 2a plus 1 is equal to 0 then here from here a is equal to 2 let's call this a1 and from here this is a quadratic equation let's solve this using factorization method we have the product p is equal to 1 multiplied by 1 this is equal to 1 then sum is 1 plus 1 this is equal to 2 now our equation become a square plus a plus a plus 1 is equal to 0 here we have a bracket a plus 1 plus this 1 bracket a plus 1 is equal to 0 now we have a plus 1 a plus 1 we have a plus 1 bracket this a plus 1 is equal to 0 then there are two cases a plus 1 equal to 0 or second one a plus 1 is equal to 0 and from here a is equal to minus 1 let's call this a2 and here also a is equal to minus 1 this is a3 you can see that a2 and a3 are equal which is minus 1 and this is minus 1 therefore our final answers are a1 is equal to 2 a2 equal to minus 1 a3 is equal to minus 1 we can check to confirm if this answer is right or wrong let's check to check we have the given equation 3 to the power of a to the power of 3 divided by 27 to the power of a is equal to 9 when a is equal to 2 we have 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 3 divided by 27 this is 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 2 must be equal to 9 then we consider this 2 to the power of 3 that is 8 we have 3 to the power of 8 divided by 3 to the power of 3 multiplied by 2 6 must be equal to 9 then this is 3 to the power of 8 minus 6 must be equal to 9 because from here if you have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m minus n therefore 3 to the power of 8 minus 6 this is 3 to the power of 2 must be equal to 9 3 to the power of 2 this is 9 is equal to 9 which is true now let's check when a is equal to minus 1 when a is equal to minus 1 we have 3 to the power of a to the power of 3 divided by 27 to the power of a is equal to 9 and this is 3 to the power of minus 1 to the power of 3 divided by 27 this is 3 to the power of 3 to the power of minus 1 must be equal to 9 now minus 1 to the power of 3 this is minus 1 we have 
3 to the power of minus 1. Then here is divided by 3 to the power of minus 3 must be equal to 9. Then we have 3 to the power of minus 1. Then minus minus 3 must be equal to 9. This is 3 to the power of minus 1. Minus times minus, that is plus 3 must be equal to 9. We have 3 to the power of minus 1 plus 3, that is 2, must be equal to 9. 3 square, this is 9, is equal to 9, which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.